today we're going to be covering the new hero who has entered the game. This is going to be a Navy hero, and I think it's really going to change the top march for Navy. Uh, so with that, let's jump in. thing we're going to need to do is click on the little icon of her. Her name is Kotia or Katia. I'm not sure which one. If you guys want to do the enunciation in the comments, please go right ahead. Uh, the first way you can get her is to purchase her with about 20 US dollars, um, maybe different depending on where you live. The second way is to scroll over in the valuable events and go to the lucky treasury and unlock her this way. Usually it costs about 3,300 gems, so we'll see what we got here. So we got two shards. You get a bonus one for every nine spins, basically. Sorry, for every 30 spins. So we got three, five, six. This will be seven, eight, nine, ten. So that only cost me right about 1,900 gems for her. So not a bad deal at all. Uh, don't forget, as you upgrade her during this event, you do get these bonus rewards. And with that, let's jump into the hero. So this hero, once you recruit her, here is her screen. You got to scroll down to find her. And so you'll see her war and defense are pretty even. Command is typical for an SSR. And her exclusive skill is after the battle begins, the attack of your naval units is increased by 80%. After your naval units in the middle row launch a regular attack, they will 100% trigger the skill to give two random units on your side one heavy armor stack, reducing their skill damage taken by 20% for one turn. And there is a possibility to silence two random enemy heroes for one turn. So what that means is basically you're getting the attack buff, which is top for Navy, um, that matches Nemo's. Then you're getting the silence ability to possibly silence two heroes. And you're also getting a skill damage reduction when the enemy heroes launch attacks. So um, that's pretty huge. That's a lot for one hero to give. Additionally, at level three, you'll get an additional 30% attack. You'll also get at level five, all your units will get one heavy armor stack and there's a chance to silence three heroes. So that's even more crazy. And then at level seven, all your naval units get a 20% HP shield at the start, and the effect of the heavy armor is increased by 30%. So that is her. We will discuss how to use her. So with Kotia, I see her becoming part of the top Navy March and how I see her being used. We're going to go to war zone just to make it easier to kind of see. And we'll go on my defense. So how I see her being used is right in this March that I have with uh, Aaron, yes, and Ray. So Aaron, yes, and Ray will feed each other and continually do damage and that while her attack buff also will buff that damage and then increasingly silence the other heroes to make the battle last longer. Um, she also will reduce the skill damage, which will allow you to be obviously last longer in the battle. Um, so she's 100% Nemo's replacement. Um, I know a lot of people have been using Nemo as the meta. I put in Megatron because I didn't have Nemo and I still wanted that attack buff. So that's why I used him, but she will 100% replace my uh, Megatron and Megatron will go back to army. Um, some other things that you could possibly do. Um, I know a lot of people uh, I've been speaking to don't have Aaron. Yes, Aaron yet. Um, you could pretty much put in almost any other Navy hero for this, but you could use sea spray. You could, you could even pair with Nemo still and have a huge attack buff. Um, Bylos isn't going to be a good choice just because she's such a low trigger rate. And at this point, she's not what I would consider a top March hero any longer. Um, Akator and you kind of with this in indestructible that's been given to these other heroes kind of got pushed into the wayside. Um, I still prefer you over Akator just because she will trigger more in the long run. But, um, 
obviously all the free-to-play heroes, those are good for if you're free to play otherwise if you have these new heroes unlocked they're definitely always going to be better um anything beyond that really i'll scroll down here because i know i have a few navy heroes that i don't have so yeah nemo gets replaced um shacks sorry shack you're you're useless in this game other than your deco buffs basically so um 100 i think it's uh aaron yes ray Katia, Kotia as the top march. Um, you can intermingle other heroes in replace of Aaron or Ray as needed. But if you're going for the top, that's going to, what it's definitely going to be, um, especially once you get them all to set level 7 exclusives. Even at level 5 exclusives, she's definitely a must-have for Navy, I think. Um, and I know that pretty much every hero that comes out, it seems, but um, that's kind of just how the nature of the game works they want you to keep working towards the new heroes so something i always suggest is if you don't have a fully perk perked march yet definitely work on your perks first and then get the new heroes once they come out after that because the perks are more important than the new heroes and it'll only benefit you in the long run whereas right now i know i'm fully perked here so i'm kind of chasing chasing the elusive ever moving finish line so I hope you all like the content. Please remember to like and subscribe if you do, and see ya.